here's the bad coaching advice that is rampant and it's given over and over. I used to give some of it out too. I think sometimes we just kind of regurgitate up the same tips and talking points and things that we learned, right? And so sometimes what's being taught now in, well, now in 2023, the stuff that was like taught in the 60s and 70s, I guess. It's just bad advice. So a few off the top of my head. One is move nonstop on bottom. No, you don't move nonstop on bottom until you get away. Now I'll wrestle in flurries, I'll wrestle in sprints, but I'm not gonna move nonstop just like, you know, a bucking bronco or a wild bull, you know, who weighs 2,000 pounds trying to buck a 140 pound dude off my back. No, it doesn't work that way. They're gonna get your wrist. They're gonna extend you and put you on your elbows. They're gonna get a leg in and now guess what? You're screwed. It's 45 seconds before you're gonna get your wrist back. Unless you get turned, then it's even worse, right? You cannot move nonstop until you get away because it doesn't work and it's gonna get you in trouble. And sure, you can probably search around over the past decade and find one college wrestler who got away with it. I can't think of any. But there's always um, there's always that one guy, right? There's always that one guy. Jordan Burroughs can shoot from like 11 foot away. There's always that one guy that can. You're If you're that one guy, good for you. Otherwise, we don't pay attention to the outliers or the freaks, right? So don't move nonstop on bottom. Hold position and wrestle in sprints, wrestle in flurries of action. Combat sports, for the most part, are best done in sprints and flurries of action. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, don't move nonstop on your feet. Movement, movement, move your feet, move your feet. And the kid looks down and he's like tap dancing around saying, my feet are moving as fast as they can and I have not won the Olympic championships yet. And they're like, dude, how about this? Go get the legs. Go get a takedown. I'm trying to get your legs, but an underhook was there. Oh, there's an underhook throw by. I won. So it's not always about the legs either. I scored with something else. Go get a takedown. How should I get a takedown? I don't know yet. Go tie up and see what happens. Oh, I tie it up inside tie. Guy inside fights inside for a collar tie. I have a left-handed elbow control. I elbow pass to the wrist. Boom, I scored. Boom, there's my takedown. They're like, man, that was a sweet uh, elbow pass to a wrist lock. How did you how did you know that was going to come? Didn't have a clue. I started with an inside tie. I didn't know he was going to pummel inside. If he'd pummeled inside and thumb blocked, I wouldn't have had that. He pummeled inside and collar tied, so I had a bent arm. We passed bent arms, so there you go. It's instinctive. It's flow. So I'm getting very, like simple I gotta throw the guy down and land on top how am I gonna do that I don't know let's get to a tie up and see well the guy won't let me tie up so maybe he's backing up well there's a drive single leg that's decent attack good attack actually but it's not there always but if your opponent is backing up sometimes a drive single leg is a great attack so again how are you gonna score this tournament, Nick. I don't have a clue. What ball is the famous pitcher gonna pitch next? I don't have a clue. I play instinctively. I just try to find the ball with my eyes and I let the bat swing itself. I don't make predictions. I don't write out a script about how the match is gonna go or how I'm gonna score. I just wrestle in a flow. I just wrestle instinctively. And if my instinctive wrestling isn't good enough, I just have to be happy with a lot of brown medals. That's okay. And if you keep wrestling year round, then that's gonna change. And if you can only put a little bit of time in, well then it, you're gonna become an instinctive wrestler that may take six or seven years. It took this guy eight months because he wrestled four or five days a week year round. Okay, it took him eight months. It's like the, you know, 500 hour rule. You put 500 hours of time in. If it takes you 10 years to do that, that's 10 years. If you can do it 
you know, two months, there you go. So, you know, pace of improvement is important. We like to talk about there's no quick fixes. Well, yeah, but that doesn't mean you have to have a slow track. There's a fast track. There's no, we like to say what? There's no quick fix, but there is a fast track. So more time, right? Some famous guy said, you can become top 10% in America in any endeavor just by more effort and more time. You work harder. If I get two hours of work crammed into my one hours of, of wrestling time and everyone else is pecking around getting 20 minutes of work into an hour because they're just not, they're lazy, I'm going to get better. And if I wrestle four days a week, five days a week versus one day a month, then I'm going to get better. So more time and more effort and more time, those two things compounded, you can probably, I do think it's important, you can become top 10% in America in probably anything just by doing that. But then what, there's that there's that ceiling, right? Where you're like, I'm not getting better, something's missing. Well, then we got to get into tactics and strategy and also physicality, right? So, you know, I got 14% body fat, okay. Well, let's get that down to eight because you're wrestling the top guys in America. Okay, can, can you deadlift heavy weight? Oh, I can't pick up nothing. Okay, so guess what? You might want to join a weight room. Okay, I gotta do that now. So once you're top 10% in America, you gotta do more stuff, unfortunately. You gotta be flexible. You gotta have amazing positioning. You gotta have amazing confidence. You gotta, you know, your nutrition has to be in check, right? All the little stuff takes a place. So, when you're trying to get better, understand that just more time and effort is going to help. But after that, uh, you know, we want to have better tactics, better use of our time. Okay, now that I got distracted, still probably good information there. Another thing that I hear about is hand fight. Hand fight, hand fight, hand fight. No. Score a takedown. Get the legs. The hand fighting happens on its own. The moving my feet happens on its own, right? Moving my feet happens on its own. My stance and motion happens on its own. My hand fighting happens on its own. I'm trying to launch this big ass truck. <clears throat> this is in the way. Yeah, so um, those things happen on their own. I don't think about that. It happens on its own, doesn't it? So don't yell move non-stop on bottom. Don't yell move non-stop on your feet. Don't yell hand fight, hand fight, hand fight, okay? Just say, hold position, score every chance you get. Just allow your instincts to take over. A good phrase that will allow you to fall because you can't force yourself to be in the flow. It just gotta happen, right? It's like the soil has to be fertile, then things grow. Even without planting, things will grow. But if the soil's crappy, nothing can grow. Even a weed can't grow in like crappy, very super acidic soil, right? So you wanna make sure that I'm, I am in, I'm in an environment. I've got an environment here where uh, points can grow, points can happen and instinctive wrestling can, can take place. And you can kind of like fall into the flow state, right? Where things are just happening on their own because you want to get lost in the wrestling, right? You learn to get lost in the wrestling match and like, dude, I don't even remember swinging the bat. I just felt something and I heard something in the crowd and I, I saw the ball and it was like way out there. And I was like, dude, I just hit a home run. Started jogging. I didn't even think about hitting the ball. The bat swung itself. All I thought about was, was you know, finding the ball, having good position, finding the ball, and I let the bat swing itself. The single leg should shoot itself. The down block should happen on its own. The underhook throw by should happen on its own, right? Some of these things should happen on their own. Uh, most of your wrestling should happen instinctively and on its own. And if it isn't, you need more drill time, more skill time because you just don't have it, right? But um, there's, a, there's three things off the top of my head that I would like for you to stop doing because it's screwing up the kids. Good luck. We'd love to have you. Check out PerlaWrestling.com. Blow your mind. You come train with us. Uh, it's probably the only place you need to come. Good luck.